both have good pants. <laughs> Couch pants. <laughs> this is a new seriously on previously serious on previously series. <laughs> on previously on really called Couch Pants. You didn't get the end of that sentence right either. <laughs> oh, hey guys, hey. Hello for real. Hello. Why don't you start by telling them your new clothing Idea? Feel, feelings? Well, I was just getting sick of always wearing sweats. I stay home a lot for work and I've been in sweats a lot and I was just like, let me get out of my sweats for this specific situation. Like this gives me a reason to get dressed up. So I'm, will you look at my brands? I don't even know. Laor? <laughs> Laor, so Laor is really correctly. cute. I think it's from Bandier. Um, and then these pants are? VRG. VRG, they're a website. I'll link them. But yeah, cute, right? Cute. Cute summer look. You are cute. Thank you. Does this gross anybody out? Like the this, this stain, stain is kind of grossing me out a little bit. I'll get a cup. Wait, so hold on. I want to talk about something. Hold up. This is all channel news, by the way. So Whitney's getting a, some kind of peel. Yeah, That's so gonna I'm getting, her face up. Listen, so I have gotten insecure about some spots around my eyes and some like crepiness around my lips, and and I don't want to like put, inject anything into my skin. I went to the dermatologist, and she was like. You know, I think what would help where texture is a laser and a peel. So I'm doing this thing. It's called the Erbium Laser. Anyways, I just got a text message from a doctor asking to talk to me about medications that I need. And I'm like, wait, what exactly am I doing here? Like, I need to make sure it's not like so intense. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. It definitely wasn't easy being the new girl in Siesta Key. Is this the Kelsey that I've heard so much about? I was trying to fit in and meet people. What are you excited about me? But it took a minute to figure out who to trust, especially here, where drama is impossible to avoid. My new friend Chloe was fighting with her BFF, Amanda, over this guy, Brandon. Like, literally fighting. Oh my god. Amanda broke Chloe's nose. Oops. Chloe gets mad when I talk to you. I'll have to keep it on the low then. No one knew if those girls would ever be friends again. Then there was this guy, Alex. He seemed like Siesta Key's biggest player. How many of your friends haven't been with Alex? There's me. Me. And you. Cheers, Cheers to that. that. I thought he was with Juliet. At least that's the impression I got at this party. But then Madison was all over him at Brandon's bonfire. Do you want to do a little wakeboarding like we discussed over on the telephone? Until he said those rude things about her. I'm offensive and don't understand social situations. That was not cool. <laughs> of course, no one knew. Alex had been low-key texting and flirting with me. I felt so weird about it all. And I'd never do anything to hurt my boyfriend, Garrett. He had always been so sweet to me. I got you 4,857 handwritten notes. I just wish he was a little more outgoing. But I was starting to wonder if he wanted more than I could give him. I think she could be the one. And I was about to learn that Siesta Key has a way of burning even the strongest relationships. How was your anniversary with Garrett? Uh, oh, God. It was, no, it was good. I was like, not what I expected, though. So what happened? It's six months, so I was expecting to go somewhere. We're driving, we passed the Ritz. I was like, oh, maybe he'll take me there. And then, no, we keep driving down. We end up on the beach. He packed, like, crackers and cheese and, like, pepperoni. So you didn't even have dinner? No. My god, no, Karen. He got me this gift, a jar, and it was, like, 365 days. So every day I pick out, like, a little piece of paper from the jar, and it'll say, like, memories or reasons why he loves me. The girliest thing I've ever heard a guy give. <laughs> Chloe, so like she, Chloe's just like, oh, I know that I'm supposed to be agreeing that whatever Garrett did was whack because mm -hmm. Kelsey wasn't happy about it. But right. that gift is really nice. The gift is really sweet, and like maybe he couldn't afford to take her wherever, yeah. or whatever. You know, yeah. like it was pretty thoughtful. But I'm just saying, like Chloe doesn't have any objectivity. She's just like reading what she thinks the person across from her mm -hmm. like wants her to react. Mm -hmm. So like, are you supposed to like read one every day yeah. for the next year? Yeah. So he's like, we're gonna be together for a whole nother year. <laughs> yeah. And like, maybe we will be, but I don't plan my life like that. Whatever happens, does happen. Smart. 
Mm. I've heard that. I don't know yet. I'm afraid Amanda's gonna be there. Yeah, I don't blame you. So like on the boat, what do you think Garrett will do? Do you think he'll like get up and dance and like? I hope. Do you think the guys are gonna be like cool with him or like? Cause you know Garrett from like high school. Do you think their personalities are gonna go well together or like clash or? I know you don't know Alex very well, but he's definitely known in this town as a player. I'd figure. So not only are you on a boat with a bunch of boys dancing, you're on Alex Compo's boat. Yeah. And a lot of guys can't handle their girlfriend dancing and partying on a boat with a bunch of guys, but... Seems like they're really all gonna be dancing. Like to yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah. Guys can't handle it. <laughs> now I will sip my drink. <laughs> now you're gonna sip your drink. I had a dream, or was it real? We crossed the line, and it was on. We crossed the line, it was on this time. I wanna cross through the crowds, break the sea. I wanna dance on the roof, you and me alone. I wanna cut to the feeling. Oh yeah, I wanna cut to the feeling. I wanna cut to the feeling. Heaven only knows. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Um, yeah, I just want to apologize about the other night at BG's bonfire. Yeah. I don't know. I feel bad. Hopefully, I didn't embarrass you too bad. Oh, you did. You do realize how it is hurtful. One hundred percent. I just, I think that if we're gonna be friends, we have to respect each other and show each other that respect. I know. I shouldn't talk to you like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay. Good luck on your interview tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what you got going on later this week, but I'm supposed to get my letter from law school, so hopefully we'll have something to celebrate. We should hang out. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Welcome to social. Would you like a moment to get a drink here? Anything else aside from where to start? Um, I'll get a glass of the Pinot Grigio, please. Pinot Grigio? I just have some lemons for my water, please. Certainly. Thanks. One. This relationship. Yeah, anxiety, like, <laughs> to the max. Such a contentious relationship. Yeah, I would not want to have to live in the house with them. Mm -mm. But I don't. Mm -mm. Their drinks are really, like, handcrafted and everything. I love this place. She's oh like, you God. do? You, why? She was <laughs> basically with her eyebrows. She was like, well, f you. That's what I heard. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh, shit. Oh. Summer's always the best in siesta key. It is. It does. I hope now that you're getting older, though, it's not going to be quite as crazy as it has been. Now that I'm 21, I'm sure it will be crazier than ever. No, I don't think it could be any crazier. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the, the amount of just passive aggressiveness just flowing between the two. Mom, I don't like that you look at the negatives. Focus on the positives. Well, I think you need to learn some tools how to just relax and not respond well, so nice. quickly. I'm not the calmest person on Earth. And you never have been. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking? Just chatting about you? Chloe, we can all learn tools. I don't have like a problem where it's like I really lash out and I'm like an angry person. I just think that I don't know how to handle myself when I get super frustrated. You know, that's exactly what counseling will help you. Don't. Learn to relax and not react. Stop. Seriously. I mean, we've gotten to the point where you and I can hardly even have a conversation. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I've always wondered if maybe some of your anger <coughs> issues has something to do with just not having a dad involved. I don't have anger issues. It does not stem from not having a dad. Chloe, we can talk about it. What the f Stop. Seriously, stop. 
She doesn't want her to say that she's not coming. She's like shaking. Yeah. I am your mother, Chloe. This is The mom was like ready to go there with her, and Chloe's not yeah. having it. My Maybe name. she was so desperate, the, and the producers were probably like, let's really try to help her. Right. I don't know, you know? She's like, probably not wrong. Well, look at the happy couple. What's up? Hi! How are you doing? How you doing, bro? Good to see you, man. Hello, Alex. Oh, man. Perfect day for a boat day. Gonna hop out on the sandbar, put some floats in there, yeah. play some beer pong. Alex, who else so is coming nice. on the boat today? Julia said to Dennis, so she's not gonna make it, so we're just waiting for Kelsey and Garrett to get here. Come on, Kelsey, and get it. Somehow every corner always calls out begging me to be the better or the best. Oh, but I'd like to think it doesn't really matter. Should my runway walk? I like it. It was nice for the catwalk you got there. Hi, gorgeous. All aboard. Anybody want a beer? Anybody? Yeah, yeah thanks. Hey. Well, look who it is. How are you? Good to see you. Look who it yeah. is. How Brody Jenner of you. <laughs> look like is Christian Gray from Fifty Shades. That's what I said. That's it's a huge compliment. compliment. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Dude, I cannot wait to get to that sandbar. Just lay out. Let's take our clothes off. Where's that going again? Oh, dancing. Good old days for Brandon. A little different oh. from the Siesta Key Life, huh? A little bit. Yeah. They're both great. Yeah. yeah. Poly oh, yeah, he's going with the anchor? Well, Polly just did a front flip. What? Right? Oh, what? And Brandon's oh, lefty. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Oh. You did not need to grab her there. Did you guys have that shot of her ass, the direct <laughs> shot of her ass. Thank you. Put that in there. Oh, God. This is amazing. Perfect boat day, perfect weather, perfect crew. I've like missed having you around since that <laughs> went down with <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> Dude, Chloe's like super mad at me right now. She is like one of my best girlfriends. And like, I knew this was gonna end up being an issue and it's making it difficult for all of us to hang out. Nothing will ever be like it was before. If you have that attitude, then you're right. But have you ever thought about just squashing it? If you have that attitude, then you're right. Have you ever thought about just squashing it? Let's unpack that. If you have that attitude, <laughs> then you're right. It's kind of genius, because if she's saying nothing will ever be the same, he's saying it in response. Well, if you really believe that, then you will manifest that destiny. Mm -hmm. If you believe that we can be back to friends, then you're wrong. <laughs> I have told people plenty of times I love Chloe. I want to mend our friendship. And every single time they tell me, Amanda, Chloe talks about you. She's not a real friend. Don't even try. She's talking so out of anger, but deep down inside, she wants to go back to how you guys were. I know it's going to be hard. Well, then she can't keep talking because I don't want somebody like that in my but life. But she's hearing that you're talking too because I hear it. I'm getting text If you messages. really like her, you will meet up with her. What do you mean, really the... like her? I love the girl. She was one so of my then... best friends, but she treats people like. We're if you guys want to move on, you got to squash what happened. And we can get back to having fun and enjoying this beautiful place where we live. Basically saying, if you guys want to go on my boat, you got to be friends. Otherwise, I don't, I'm not choosing you. <laughs> we'll squash it. We'll figure it out. Who cares? Let's play beer pong or something. Uh, whose side are you on? No one's. I'm mediating. Hi. Come on, Kelsey. Make a cup. All right, ready? I'm going to make this. Her tush is crazy. It's so nice. <laughs> okay, Garrett, mark your territory. Kelsey, you want to try to drive a little bit? Oh, yeah. You gotta teach me. I don't know how. Well, I'm here to supervise a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Red, right, return. So we're returning into a channel. So you want to keep the red markers on your right side. All right, got a little bit left. Yeah. She getting it or what? <laughs> <laughs> she getting it or what? I'm trying. Well, look, I told you I'd take you out. Now you're driving my boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. This is a calendar. We're going slow. Oh, you want to go fast? <laughs> uh, they're not talking about driving the boat anymore. 
shit. No, don't touch him! Oh, I, I mean, this is all slow mo. Oh, that's from the uh -huh. open. Little <laughs> Garrett, uh -huh. poor guy. <laughs> it's like, where'd she go? She went to the upstairs cockpit. <laughs> from this summer was the best time ever. But I didn't realize how unhappy it was making Garrett feel. Wow. Dad. Oh, hey. I made a couple changes on my resume and I wanted you to check them out before I head to my interview. Good, yeah, let's take a look. A nice little green room. Impressive. <laughs> I'm not even ready. Good. In Florida, people, their backyard is covered by that black to keep the bugs out. Are you freaking out? Oh Holy God, shit. Oh God, in your right. cup, in your cup. <laughs> I wasn't even joking. <laughs> oh, it went down the wrong tube? Every day is an adventure with this one. Well, I like the typeface. Uh, okay. Mathematics, mechanics, I don't have a lot of like experience to put on there. Well, I mean, that's why you're, I know. you gotta start and today's yeah. the day. I'm there kind you go. of nervous. He's like the CEO of this company. He's like, the, it's his company. Now this guy, this is a civil engineer. Yeah, yeah, he does um, structural, civil. Right. That's another thing, like what if he doesn't mean mechanical? Well, you've also got the, the math degree, so obviously you're a numbers person. Yeah. I think you should probably, uh, you know, show interest in his firm. Have a few questions. Okay. Uh, that you're ready <laughs> to, uh, good to ask. Well, I'm. Not, I mean, you're the the engineer. I hope it doesn't ask me too many questions because I really don't have that much experience. Well, just you be know here. what, Madison? Get in on the ground you're floor. Yeah. You're bright. You're, you look professional. You're smart. You're you're gonna be fine. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Good job, Dad. Knock him dead. He's like, now get out of here. Like, I need to sit here for the next 10 hours. <laughs> Hi, Mark. This is Madison, your 11 o'clock interview. Hi, nice to meet Mark you. Mark Stefano. You're a friend of Gary's. Yes. I'm looking at your resume here. I mean, you don't have a lot of experience. I don't. I just graduated. Um, I, I really, this, this would be my first um, kind of intro into the engineering world um, professionally. The lack of structural engineering is a issue. Um, Mark, just give her the job. Some of the candidates already have a lot of that stuff mm -hmm. under the belt. Um, so I don't want to keep you hopes up <laughs> or anything. Uh, oh, jeez. Nobody says that. Nobody has you in just to be like, you don't have enough experience. Don't get your hopes up. No, I think. They were like, they break her heart. Break her. Mark was like, no problem. <laughs> But I'm not supposed to let it show. So what in particular mm. brought you here today? Did something well, happen that's unusual? Very recently, um, a little bit unusual. One of my best friends, Amanda, her and I got in a altercation. Um, she actually broke my nose and wow. I had to have surgery. And how did that start? My mom thinks it's because of alcohol. Alcohol. And I don't feel that way. She suggested really the therapy, and so that's why I'm here. So there's an assault charge against Amanda? No, I didn't file one. You didn't file one? Uh-uh. Okay. Has she been a friend for a long time? Or yeah. We've known each other since like freshman year of high school. Have you seen her? No. I'm avoiding her. <sighs> So this whole event had to be completely startling to you. Yeah, it's like I was traumatized. Well, as time passes by, it makes it more Why difficult. does the therapist have this blanket covering the chair? Let me see. I think what we need to look at is the role of alcohol. You get reactive very fast. And that's certainly something to think about what the triggers are for that, where it comes from. Uh, well, 
from what my mom does tell me about my dad. Probably because the stripes are uh, meringue yes, and they yes. have to put it over it. Argumentative uh, person. Um, and he is, uh, he's been in and out of jail. You haven't even met him? Never. My mom left him when she was pregnant with me, so I don't even know him. So to hear that, like, my own father... Yes, and some of it, you know, like some of it can be in and out genetic. Of yeah. But that's not to say that it has to be expressed that way. That's definitely behavior that can change. The stress and the anger really, really go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So bringing down stress can make you less likely to be angered so easily. Yeah. So because can we live. move from this point next time? Yeah. OK. She's healed. I mean, they were moving in a positive direction. Yes, yes. I'm glad she's getting help. Mm -hmm. Go, Chloe. Come on, Kels. Oh, I love paddle boarding. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Totally fair. That was a good workout. Oh. It's so good to say. She's like, stop making everything about exercise. <laughs> <laughs> are burning a little bit less windy than on the boat. Yeah. Yesterday was fun. The way it was yesterday, that is the type of group I can be yeah. friends with and I want to be friends with. And I need people like that in my life. It's like, why not? Like, this is the summer. It's time to have fun. So it's nice. Something I'd love to do again. Yeah, that's something I like to do tonight without you. Because <laughs> this summer's about having fun, and you already agreed that that's what I should be doing. So by that rule, I'd like to have fun without you. I know yesterday, like, you were sitting with Alex, and then, like, he was teaching you the whole boat thing. Yeah, whole boat Coming thing. Coming from so much money and that nice boat, I'm sure he has that kind of mindset that he can just do whatever. I mean, I was, like, near you guys, so, I mean, yeah. obviously... A lot went down. You missed it. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> What? Um, obviously, it doesn't fly by me being a boyfriend. It happened. I would shoot him right down. Yeah. There's no way. Okay, you're acting super weird, Kelsey, mm -hmm. so I don't know what to take from this. There's that boundary. I feel like he's like a ladies' man. A ladies' man? That's what it seems like. Why are you saying that? Having money. He thinks obviously. he has anything. Yeah. He can get any other girl in Florida. I don't think he needs me. I think he'll be just fine. I got you all the way from St. Louis. Yeah, you did. You captured me real quick. Nothing you're saying here is good, OK? When you start to lose trust in a relationship, that's a really bad sign. And I think it scared us both. What's going on with you? Well, uh, I got a letter from Stetson today. Uh, basically, what it says is, uh, I'm not currently in the school. They put me on a wait list. No. On behalf Alex. of the faculty committee on the missions, I'm writing you to advise you of your status of your application for admission to Stetson College of Law. The committee reviewed your application and decided to place you on a wait list. Like. Yeah, that's true. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Well, listen, they're a very good school, and there's a lot of people want to get in. Stetson? My scores are there. I know so many people that got scores and I did and got in. I mean, what do I do if I don't get in? If you don't get in, you know, we go to another school or we reapply. That's all we're going to do. Alex, listen. I admire you. I've watched you grow up. You have dyslexia, but you overcame that. So you have perseverance. That's all you need. You got to move on. You got to prove yourself. You always do. You always come back. You don't give up. This is a time to reflect. I don't know. That was a all good. That was a good pep talk from his dad. Yeah. I feel body chills. Could have been the music. I think it was in there. Who are these people? Juliet. Juliet with brown hair. So pretty. I got you flowers you for so me getting punched in the face. <laughs> oh my god, you're the best. I'm starving.
your surgery went fine. Three of my teeth were impacted, so that oh, was bad. Oh, that's where she missed the bed. Oh. Get your wisdom teeth out. That's painful. I had they that. Have me on these painkillers. I feel so groggy. Painkillers? Percocet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like the big ice pack thing that goes I've been on? putting it around my head. Yeah. It trying. feels good though. It does. It's You're like... not like that swollen. I'm I was really so yeah. swollen when really? I got right now. Oh my God, I look like a chipmunk. I'm gonna be better in a few days, I think. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm tired yeah. Of She's like, I just had wisdom teeth. Nobody actually assaulted me, so I'll be fine. <laughs> the damage done to you will last a lifetime. <laughs> have you been out since all that stuff? I'm upset that this had to happen, but did the fight come as a shock? It didn't necessarily. Mm, I love when people <laughs> ask themselves questions <laughs> that they're gonna answer. Like, I'm really sorry you got punched in the face, but did you deserve it? You, yes. yes, you did. Yes, you did. Am I, am I sympathetic towards you? I am. But I'm also not going to let the opportunity go by without telling you it's your fault. Like, that's disgusting that you're like, you, you both were in the wrong. This fight, because of your personalities, escalated too far. OK, let me tell you where I am. Yeah. I am not saying in any way it is her, me, one more, her, more, me. Yeah. It is half of my fault. And I'm going, guess what? I'm going to therapy to work on myself and work on my mouth and work on learning to keep it shut when people are coming at me. I am sorry for the words that I said to bring it to this, but I won't want to hang out with somebody mm -hmm. that doesn't feel bad for physically harming me to the point where I get surgery. Like, no, then that means you'll do it again. I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Like, I have this gut feeling that Amanda is putting on this hard exterior. I don't know. I think things could be resolved. I really do. Like, I can see that she's hurt, too. I was like, I don't want any of you to have sympathy for her. Would like, you be opposed no. to me and Alex, like, sitting down and talking, all four of us? Why? No, do you think Alex needs to be there? He I is the like rich it's one. Maybe kind of more of like a girl thing. Well, would you be willing to do that? We scheduled it for Alex's boat later this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. You need to be there. And it's... actually, everyone's going to be there, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's at a party. It's going to be the four of us in the it's front of the boat, but the, everyone's going to be in the back. And then when then afterwards, we can We're all gonna hang dance. out. Yes. We're going to watch Gary gonna... get uncomfortable, OK? Yeah. Even if things don't go back to the way they were, it'll help you put it in the past. It'll be a good scene for yeah. the show we're on. It would just really suck if she doesn't feel bad and she doesn't regret it. She's we gonna feel bad. Young. Amanda's not like a monster. We forever young. We'll see. The music's loud and I'm feeling wild. Come dance along with the golden child. If I break your heart, then I'm a dumb dude. We know that's Madison's butt. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I recognize her butt from the very <laughs> beginning of the show. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to meet me at those rocks and talk? <laughs> How's the interview? I just went in there like thinking. I blew him away, and I, I really didn't at all. I feel like I like wasn't as prepared as I thought I would be. You know, I kind of expected more of myself, and I just. I guarantee you did fine. I do have no experience, and a lot of like the engineering is I mean, learning on the job. If I was an engineer, I'd hire you. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder like how many engineering opportunities are like actually in this. Yeah, though. probably not a ton, but you definitely like have the education. And... Yeah. What? what about you? <laughs> Excited um, for law school? Yeah, I mean, it's I, like there's not a lot of opportunity, but you, you know, you went to school. <laughs> uh, Apply to Stetson. I thought I was gonna get in, like walk in the park, but I got waitlisted. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's oh, kind of like a bummer. Yeah, that I was wasn't like really like right. blown away. I like studied my ass off. Yeah, whatnot. you were really I mean, it's not hard. like I won't go to law school if it's not Stetson. There's other schools around there. You so you're, you're like Florida set State. on law school? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I love it. the water, I love fishing, and that costs money. So for me, it's ideal. I go to law school, work my ass off, and one day, like, have a marina, have, like, a couple of boats that go out of there, and just be able to, like, retire, and, you know, like, I mean, nothing good comes easy, so. No, that's so true, and it's, it's kind of good to have to work for things sometimes. Yeah. 
They call me Mr. Waitlist now. I call myself Miss Failed Interview. Oh. Not quite as catchy as the name Mr. Waitlist. And it was only going to get worse before it got better. <laughs> you everything I'm missing, we don't know it yet. Thought I didn't need a missus, I be focused. But long nights get cold when the tune stops. Hey. Traveling Seth. Man, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Oh my gosh. Zeus. 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 His name's Zeus. Oh, should I come back? Or are you sick? No. His name is Zeus. Zeus, you would name your dog Zeus. How was the boat? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. How are your wisdom teeth coming along? They're all right. See. I'm actually, like, you don't see any I can see. You can see? Yeah. Oh, oh you, you can't, can't even see, tell. Can you? I mean, if I really look, I can see a hole. I wish I got to go, though. Did Amanda go? Yeah, she really? went, Kelsey Garrett, Paul. PG. Oh, wow, the whole squad. Yeah, Chase. Did you invite Chloe? Well, she came to see me. Oh, really? She came over and, like, brought me ice cream and flowers and stuff like that, which was really sweet. And we started talking about the whole situation. And I tried um, offering up, you know, like a meeting between her and Amanda. Do you think that, like, you know, it would be best if we were there and they talked it well, out? Well, I think that you might be a little, like, biased. I don't know. I mean, I want her to act like her real self. So if Chloe. I'm there and it's going to prevent affect that. affect that, then it might be best if you just go. Yeah. They just need to do it as soon as possible. Maybe like this weekend. Yeah. The sooner the better. No, yeah, we definitely got to get this handled. <laughs> if it is yeah. as soon as possible. Another dog. Oh my and God. another fake workout buddy. Another ends. tank top. <laughs> <laughs> you call me Mr. Tank Top? Whoa. Really going for it with this sequence. It's been so long. Yeah, so how are you doing, Garrett? It's frustrating because after the boat, he's like, so you're around Alex a lot. I'm like, well, that's a little passive aggressive. Yeah, I'm like, we're on a boat. You can't get too far away from each other. I'm just in a place where I'm still trying to get to know <laughs> these guys the and mm -hmm. make sure like they're cool and wouldn't try anything stupid. like. That was like kind of weird, you know, like you're hanging around with Alex and he's showing you how to drive the boat, like knowing that I have my boater's license, like, right. hey, I'll show you how to drive yeah. the boat. This looks like a movie. You think he like is the jealous type? He did seem jealous. Like he won't say it though. I'm always keeping an eye out on her. You never know what can happen. Yeah, exactly. You never know like <laughs> what people might try and do. And those guys exactly. aren't like my friends that I grew up with. Exactly. Just... And you don't know if you can trust them really yet. Yeah, exactly. I understand if Alex has a certain reputation and whatnot of getting girls, but there's nothing to be jealous of. I don't know, like if you have money, like that's cool. Just, I don't think you should always be- Flaunt it? Yeah, like showing it off. We click and our personalities go really well together here. and he makes me laugh and we're playful and I, I love our relationship. But then also, he just needs to trust me. He also needs to trust the guys and if he's not gonna do that, I don't know. We just need to yeah. figure it out. I could see us being together for a long time and I like, could Mom be and Dad like, saying too. Yeah, like she really could be like the one. One of the hugest things is I've traveled all over the world. I've seen more. Yeah, and it's made me grow up, but also he doesn't have that perspective as much because he's lived in Florida his whole life. He's never even gone out of the country yet. Exactly. He's not happy with me <laughs> flirting with Alex and he's never been out of the country. Consider him dumped. Gross, ew. He just told me he's never even been to Milan. She's not even snobby, like she just can't, she just doesn't like him and mm -hmm. he's coming up with the dumbest shit. And with this relationship, going into it, I figured it'd be fine, but I just feel like right now things are kind of shaky. Either it's gonna work or it's not gonna work. Why are relationships so hard? I knew I had to have an honest conversation with Garrett and I was dreading it. She's not a num. Mm -mm. Hey. Hey, what's up? 
She's Nothing, contouring. just getting ready to go meet up with Juliet and Amanda. Those like scratches on her neck. I think those are burns from like curling yeah. irons. Sister I burn. really just want to go into it like, yeah, Juliet's going to be there, but like this is a conversation for Amanda and I to have like as an adult. And I hope the outcome of this is that we can as start on the path of righteousness. I think you'll be fine. Alrighty, thanks, babe. I'll call you later. Thanks, babe. No. I will. Thank you for calling. No worries. Alrighty, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, hun. Alex Campos. Every day is your day to say what you want to say, say. Every day you can open up a brand new page. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. You got me? Yeah, I got you. You can write your story from beginning to end. She's not here yet. So ice cream for me, yeah. please. Yeah, I'll get a white tea. What do you think of her outfit I'll for the meetup? I'll sit in the middle. I think that might be um, <laughs> Appropriate, but it's not my style. How are you? You look cute. How are you? Good. Good. No hug. I don't even know what to say right now. It's so insane. Like, to me, I'm still shocked. Um, I'll start, I guess. Um, I'm, like, gonna cry already. Oh, oh you're so sweet. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. Um, I miss you. I'm sorry for my part, and you know my mouth. I now know that I shouldn't have said anything, and if I didn't call you a bitch, none of this probably would have happened. So I'm owning that, like, I know, like, what I did in it, and I'm truly sorry for my fault. I never once feel like it's all your fault. Breaking my nose was a little much. I don't feel like that means we can't be friends because it got out of hand. But I'm working on myself and my mouth because I know I was being like angry and mean. And like that's not fair to anyone around me. Like my mom and I's relationship has like been rocky and it's just weird for me and I'm trying to watch my mouth more. You're the last person I want to fight with. Trust me, I agree. Like, I did not want to fight with you, yeah. but I want you to know that coming into this, I was thinking, I don't know if I want you in my life or not. Because if things were like the way they were before, there's, there's no friendship there. You really do realize how you have been acting has really affected the people that really care about you. And I just really hope that it changes something because it took it to a whole new level. Yeah. I'm absolutely sorry that it did happen. I never, ever planned on ever hurting you like that. I love you, you know that. Yeah. I'm really happy that you want to move on from it, because I do too. But you know how I am, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> totally. When I see it, that's when it's going to be like, OK, maybe Chloe really is changing. Yeah. Like, you let your anger get the best of you. Mm -hmm. And, like, they're also not talking about how this all stemmed from Amanda hooking up with Brandon after Chloe said, I like Brandon. Not that that means, like, Amanda can never do that because Brandon doesn't like Chloe, but, like, mm -hmm. or not that I'm taking Chloe's side either, but this isn't, this isn't real resolution. Mm -mm. So about the Brandon thing, it's yeah. obviously the elephant in the room. It seems like he's very into you. It's probably oh, that ass of yours. <laughs> but I don't blame him. And that's OK. But I can't be into somebody that's into my yeah. best friend. Jealousy. Honestly, like, I don't want that at all. Like, not at all. Yeah. Your friendship isn't going to go like right back to what it was. But now that you know we've had this conversation, we can all hang out in group settings again. It's not going to be weird. So. Go back on our Can we hug it out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. weird? Do you want to do that? Do you want to be in the yeah. hug too? I, I, mean, well, I feel like I want to be in the Oh my god. Oh, Six my way god. nipple high five. <laughs> Is anyone <laughs> thinking about it there? For very long. 
but even I knew this truce was not going to last. Oh, yeah, okay, good. I mean, so, so do we. <laughs> Who's that? Kelsey? Kelsey. <laughs> each, each scene starts Sorry. with someone's ass. They should have put the Chiron up. <laughs> Kelsey's butt. Kelsey's ass. Uh, Finally started to create my website for online training and stuff like that. How do you so. even do that? What do you put on it? A lot. Like what? Workout plans or? Yeah, workout plans, meal plans, like, wanna sit here? You're always doing fitness stuff. I know. That's what I love, though. I love traveling. I, I don't always be traveling. Have you ever traveled? <laughs> I would, yeah. I would. Like, I'm not gonna obviously stay in Florida all the time. I wanna go and travel and see the world and whatnot. Say, I decide to go model. If I model, I could be going to a whole different country. And I, I need to know fully that you're gonna be able to like trust me because if you're not like you can't like base a relationship off of anything unless you have trust. I think by now though you should like know that I would like trust you and communicate. But would you worry? As a boyfriend, yeah I would. I mean that's what any honestly any probably boyfriend would do. I, I can see like if you were to go off, I could see like us talking it out like adults and making it work. And I feel like maybe not if you don't want to. Yeah. I can't see through the clouds and the storm. I'm gonna crack because I'm gonna dump you. <laughs> yeah, Kelsey, you need to just break up with that. I'm scared, but I know. <laughs> yeah. We're good. You all right? She doesn't want to hurt him. Nothing stays the same. It's tough to talk about. So you know it's tough I to. I don't feel like I give you that answer right now. A really nice guy. Yeah. I just need time to like think about it and all that. It's hard. Think about you maybe going to model one day. Yeah. yeah my friend. You're my best friend. I want to make it work. It's just tough for me to hear that, like, you're not certain. It's not fair to you, and I know that. Oh, I've been here I'll get my together and figure it out, I promise. It all comes in waves. Do it, Kelsey. Don't do it for Alex. Nothing stays the same. Yeah, but I don't think she's into him, regardless of Alex. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. And she doesn't know how to break up with like a nice guy, but mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with not being into someone, no. and that's just what you have to say. You have to come up with some up, stupid excuse. No one ever tells you how to handle emotions like this. Or like manufacture a fight. So much, and still not be sure if it's right. It's not right, but that's okay. It's not your fault. <laughs> This is Ganja Light Night. And Boogie Tea. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. See how it tastes. Oh, yeah, no. Ooh, let me give that a try. You like it? That is really good. It's like a popular drink here. So, do fill me in. How's everything been? Good. I don't know if you heard, but Juliet kind of set up a little meeting with Amanda and I. I heard a little something about it. Okay. I'm so proud of you, Chloe. Oh, thanks. You're... It went really, really, really good. You know, an arrow, it has to go back a little bit before it can go forward. Yeah. So, you know, that's how I look at it. And yeah. I am just, like, so proud to see that you're really doing good. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I am really stunned because I came here expecting, you know, things to, uh, <laughs> you know, not be as smooth as they are. That meeting was now moving forward. Nothing in Good. the past is going to affect the future, for me, at least on my part. Yeah, no, never. I thought you would have been mad about, you know, Alex and uh, Amanda, but... What all... do you mean, Alex and Amanda? Uh, you didn't know? Oh, Polly! No, no idea what you're talking about. They smashed. About their little hookup. Oh! 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 I don't think anybody they knew. slept together? Listen, I'm not trying to 
night any fire and oh, shit. Oh, there's not. It's just yeah, you are. She's such a liar. Oh, he's like, whoa, I did not realize well, I didn't, not, they didn't you know, know that. Things out of proportion. I'm not. I'm not going to get mad at her. Well, I think. Damn. I'm, that's well, a little. Wow, Amanda. When do you think this happened? Well, Juliet and what's his name are a thing. Right. Oh. So it's just. I was thinking, like, Chloe's not hooking up with him. I mean, Chloe kind Chloe of deep down love loves him. him, but Juliet and, and him are a thing. I wonder if Brandon is going to be upset at Alex. It's so, going to be a whole thing. I'm saying, you guys, thing. we told you she has to keep popped off, so. So careful. Couldn't let them go to waste. She's no job. Next. Let's go on a run. You just got to work out about it. <laughs> The normal humans have like all those muscles, like in this area. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say normal humans too. <laughs> Let's get a shot of his tit. Good, got it. Okay, moving on. Hair flop. Tick neck. Oh, Profile it's over. Sunset. Oh. I'm tuning in next week. Whoa, how does her head get so bad? <laughs> she is a model. She she's doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. That was fun for you. For y'all. In your little Alex kingdom, you think you can just hook up and that's not gonna hurt anyone or affect anyone in any way. I need her to apologize to me. Her and Darren are having some issues. It's now or never. What? You either Jeez. have sex with me now or you never have sex with to me. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Real soon. I'm previously on the script, basically on.